Let's spend the next 10 minutes or so on a nice and refreshing brain workout, shall we? Ready? Go! There are some flowers growing in the field and some bees flying over them. How many flowers and bees are there if both of the following statements are true? If all the bees land on all the flowers, one bee for a flower, one bee won't get a flower. If every two bees decide to share a flower, one flower will be left without a bee. If you answered that there were four bees and three flowers, you're absolutely right. Anna majored in accounting at university. Her roommates wanted to test her intelligence. They took three envelopes and wrote some messages on them. Then they put the answers to Anna's exam questions in one of the envelopes. Only one envelope had a truthful message written on it. The other two were false. Anna wasn't allowed to open the envelopes and could only pick one. The first message read, there are no exam answers here. The second one was, the exam answers are here. And the third message read, the exam answers aren't in the second envelope. Which envelope should Anna pick? The third one, it tells the truth, which means the exam answers are in the first envelope. A businessman was about to go through a security check at the airport when he realized someone had taken his luggage. The airport police had three suspects. Lisa said, I wouldn't take someone's old brown bag. I have my own. Hmm. Mike explained, he was a light traveler and didn't have luggage. He put everything in his backpack. Rob had a broken arm and a sprained ankle. He could hardly carry anything. The police immediately knew who had done it. Can you figure it out? It was Lisa. Nobody told her the luggage was brown. One day, Detective Morris was patrolling a local park. As soon as he entered it, he saw several bags with sand. He kept walking and soon came across a picnic basket and binoculars. A few feet further, he saw some items of clothing and a large colorful sheet. There was also an unconscious man lying on the ground. The detective immediately figured out what had happened. Can you? The man was flying in a hot air balloon. When it started to lose altitude, he tried to make the balloon lighter, but his attempt was unsuccessful. When several friends decided to play cards, they noticed that a few cards had been lost, but they found out that if they dealt the rest of the cards among four people, three cards would remain. If they dealt these cards between three people, two cards would remain. And if they distributed the cards among five people, again, two cards would remain. How many cards were left in the pack? There were 47 cards left in the pack. Let's see. If 47 is divided by 4, 3 is left out. And if 47 is divided by either 3 or 5, 2 is left out. Scott and Mary were on vacation. One day, Mary told Scott she couldn't go to the beach with him because she was feeling unwell. When Scott came back to the room to grab his phone, Mary was gone. Oh. He found her by the pool and asked, are you alone here? She nodded, but Scott immediately realized she was lying. How? There were two drinks on her table and two fruit platters. And now I've got probably one of the coolest tasks for you. Yeah. I'll show you different products and you'll need to figure out if they're real products or cakes. Let's start. It looks like a regular bag of Doritos. Can it be anything else? Look at that, it's a cake. Here's a pretty normal cheeseburger, I would say. But what secret is it hiding? It's cake again. Wow, I'd love to try it. Oh, a tube of toothpaste. Can it be cake too? Ah, 
Ah, no, just some regular toothpaste. Thought so. And some good old toilet paper, right? No, you must be kidding me. It looks so realistic. Mmm, a corn cob. Yummy. It looks delicious, but can it be a cake? Oh my, it is! I'm not sure what I'd prefer now, though. A cake or some sweet corn? How about this sneaker? Is it real or edible? And again, it's a cake. How is it even possible? Oh my god. Now, it must be an orange, right? There's no way it can be a cake. It just looks too realistic. And indeed, it's a real fruit. An eggplant or a cake shaped like an eggplant? That's the question. Oh, I see. It's the real thing. Okay, what have we got here? A banana. A pretty realistic banana if you ask me. Can it be a cake? Apparently, the answer is yes, it can. Wow. How about this cup of coffee with milk? I can't believe my eyes. It's a cake. You've got to be kidding me. Oh my God. And the last one, the toughest. Is it a clock or a cake? I mean, I'm almost sure it's a real clock, but you never know. It's a cake. Wow, this task has blown my mind. But back to our detective riddles. Amy won $20 million in the lottery. The night after she received the money, she stayed at the most expensive hotel and made a video. It was about her life and how she hadn't seen her sister since childhood. The next day, three girls showed up claiming to be her sister. All of them looked so much alike, but which one tells the truth? It's the lady on the right. She has the same mole as Amy on her cheek, a tattoo with the letter A, and a tattoo with two girls holding hands. Mrs. Kim called the school principal to report someone had taken her student's test. She added that she had noticed a stranger wearing school clothes, gloves, and a red mask. This person also had three star tattoos on their fingers. The principal didn't believe her. Why? She said the person was wearing gloves, but then how did she see three star tattoos on the intruder's fingers? Ah. Two friends, Mark and Timothy, were walking home from the supermarket with their purchases. That was the last week before the winter holidays, so they had a lot of bags. Mark kept complaining about how heavy his bags were. Then Timothy told him, I don't understand what you're upset about. If you gave me one of your bags, I would have twice as many bags as you. And if I gave you one of my bags, we would have the same number. How many bags were the guys carrying? Timothy had seven bags, while Mark was goofing off and carrying only five bags. The art museum owner was visiting the construction site to see the progress. At some point, he left his briefcase with important documents on the table. A worker grabbed it and ran away. The museum owner didn't see who it was, but he immediately called the police. There were three suspects. The architect said he had been talking on the phone trying to get electricity for the site as there was none. The manager told the police he had been teaching his staff to work as a team. The electrician explained he had been down in the basement trying to fix a broken lamp. The detectives immediately figured out who was lying. Can you? Ugh. 
it was the electrician. There was no electricity at the construction site. Oh, no. Soon after Bob became prom king, he vanished. His teachers were looking for him everywhere. Ah. They believed there were three people who could be behind his disappearance. Bob's rival Joe said he had been dancing all night with his girlfriend and hadn't seen Bob. Bob's classmate Dennis claimed he hadn't been feeling so well, so he spent all night in the lounge. Laura, Bob's secret admirer, said she had been counting the votes. The teachers immediately realized who knew something about Bob's disappearance. And have you figured it out? It was Laura. Bob had already become prom king. She didn't need to count the votes. That's it for today. So hey, if you pacified your curiosity, then give the video a like and share it with your friends. Or if you want more, just click on these videos and stay on the bright side.